Welcome back everybody. Here is Evans Nyoro under the PF Commander Saitoti channel. Ready for a story? Are you ready? Welcome. Okay. Long, long time ago, in the wilderness of Sahara, there lived so many animals, but today I want us, in our story, we focus with these three animals. So we had a wild beast, we had a rhino, and we had a gazelle. They had a friend, a common friend, which they used to communicate with, go outing with, because they knew walking this friend, they had a lot of security. They could do anything they could. And the friend was no longer than the lion. So on this year, as in the Sahara is during the times of January, February and March, they experienced drought. So this year, in the month of April, May and July, the drought prolonged. And as the rule of the jungle says, no matter how, no matter the drought of the jungle, the lion will never eat the grass. Now, the lion wondered, what should I do? I need some food. So and say, oh my goodness, I have a plan. As you have a plan to hit this economy. So the lion said, hmm? let me call my friend. So he called the wild beast, the rhino and the gazelle. So he told them, I want us to, uh, to play a game. And the game you're going to play is called hide and seek. So normally as you see your kids playing the hide and seek, so we have one who is, uh, who is uh, remains at the center and then the others hide. So the, the one who remains is uh, in uh, capability of searching the others and finding them to make sure that he no longer stays in that position of searching the other. So he said, who's going to start? And then the lion looked, looked around and said, oh yes, ah, uh, rhino! You are the huge one. You will start. So the rhino say, okay, friends, let's do this. So the rhino remained, the others hid. So the lion came slowly, 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 and grabbed dry the rhino. It killed him and killed him. And then he made merrily joyous. I have supper, I have food. So um, when the others came, they wondered what happened to our friend Rhino. They were mourning all over. And then the lion noticed that he would be caught. So he also mourned and he was crying, oh my goodness. <laughs> my brother, my brother Rhino is dead. My brother Rhino is dead. So, they mourned for a week and for a month and the normal lifestyle was back. So as they waited that the August to this uh, September holiday that rains would come, there would be showers of rain, uh, things never happened the same way. So drought prolonged. So the lion thought again, what will I do? So he called the two friends that were remaining. Come the wild beast, come the antelope. We have to do something. We cannot live here just because our friend is dead. Let us have some fun. Let us enjoy life as you are doing there. Let us enjoy life. So what are we going to do today? Okay. I want everybody to do this. I'm going to hide a stick and then you will go to find it. So the lion called the antelope and told him, do you know something? Can I tell you a secret? Can I share you a word with you? So the antelope was like, yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell, tell, tell me, tell me. And the lion told him, told the antelope, you know what? It's the wild beast. It is the wild beast. So, and the antelope was like, 
What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean about the, the wild beast? And the lion said, the rhino was killed by the wild beast. So the antelope, the antelope was, oh my goodness. So what should I do, my friend? So the lion told the antelope, you walk this way and then I'll hunt down the wild beast and I'll kill it and we will remain two friends, pure friends. So the lion went, slowly hit the stick and then told them, go find the stick. So as they agreed, the lion and the antelope, they headed the same direction, but the lion turned, walked slowly, tippy-toed, 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 and grabbed the wild beast and killed it. The antelope came running happily. Yes, you've killed our enemy. Yes, you will kill me too. Oh, the lion looked at the antelope and told the antelope, I'm sorry, dear. You very foolish. Today was your day of death. The lion grabbed the antelope and killed it. And all animals died. And the lion had enough food to eat till the rains came the following year. And the story ended there. So what do we learn from this story? Guys, let us have something from the story because the story was so good. I know you agree with me. So before I tell you whatever we learn, please remember to subscribe, share, like, and comment. So this is what we learn. The lion is the Satan. The antelope and the lion, they have the same skin color. So the antelope represent an unchristian. And then the wild beast and the rhino, they represent Christians, but Christians with different stronghold in Jesus Christ. How? At the first time, the rhino seemed to have grown in faith, but had little faith. When the droughts came, when there were temptations, the rhino could not notice something is going on. So the lion, who is the Satan, uses some different ways and confuse the people who are Christians using non-Christian and grabs one Christian and bring his, bring his back to his vineyard where they are doing all sorts of illness, sorts of sins, sorts of mystery. My friends, you see the wild beast, if they are a Christian, who is very strong, but if you're not strong, if you don't affirm your, your strength and your faith unto Jesus Christ, this lion, this devil will be you. So follow us for more stories. I was your teacher, Njeri Evans Nyoro, under the PF Commander Site Doty channel. So like, subscribe, share, comment. We need to hear your voice because you are our partner in this work. Thank you. Have a nice time.